Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to create character animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back. And first one, let's select this layer body and go to Solo and go to Puppet Pin Tool. Let's add one puppet here, one here, and here also let's add here some puppets and here for static layer. Okay, let's see. Okay, not bad. Let's add less one here. Okay, pretty good. Also, let's add here. Nice. So, in this time, let's create animation. Select this body, press U for C, only active G frames. And select this deform. And choose this puppet. Let's see which puppet here. Okay, this is puppet pin 2. And go to 10 G frames. For shotgun, you can press hold shift, press page down keyboard, and hold this puppet and move it up. Go to 10 G frames again. Select first U frame, copy pass. And select Q frames, make it easy or click F9. Let's see. Okay, so let's select these Q frames, hold Alt and move to right for more slow animation. Nice. And select these two frames. Let's copy, go to here, and control V, and here, control V. Okay, let's select two frames. Let's move to left for more speedily. Nice. And these two frames, move to left, and here, let's paste two frames, and here. Okay, so. In this time, let's unsolo this layer in preview animation. Nice. And close puppet pin settings. And click session tool. Select this layer hand. And go to anchor point. Move the anchor point to up. Click session tool. Go to first second. And let's add expression for endless animation. Press R, open rotation. And hold Alt, click time icon. And right here, wiggle 1, 6. And for down expression, click this empty area. Let's see. Okay, that's good. Select this muff layer, M1, white, and red. Link to head layer. Select head layer and go to pen behind icon. Move the anchor point down. Classification tool. And let's select body press U for C active Q frames. Okay, let's select this head layer, press R, open rotation, create rotation Q frame. And let's see timing. Go to next Q frame and change rotation like this. And again, go to next Q frame here. Select first Q frame, copy path. And make the two frames easy. Right click, two frame instant, and easy. Let's see. Okay, so let's play graph settings. Select two frames, go to graph editor, select this middle two frame, and move to right like this. And this two frame move to right. Okay, that's good. And back to two frames, and close this two frame settings. Select this air layer, link to head layer. Select head layer, press U, and copy two frames, and go to here. Let's add new two frames with Control V. And let's one here. Again, let's one here. And here, let's see. Okay. Select this layer red. If you not see this track mat, click toggle switch mode. And go to track mat, link to muff layer. And select muff layer, let's enable. And zoom in here. And press S, open scale, create scale Q frame. Move to right. And change scale like this. Let's see. Okay, and go to here, 
Let's select this head layer, press U. Select middle shoe frame of the left and last shoe frame. Select first shoe frame, copy pass, and make the shoe frames easy. Nice. And let's copy two frames. Go to here, control V, and here, paste two frame, and here, and let's one here. Nice. So, select this red layer, and let's see. Move the anchor point down. Classification tool, press S, change scale, and move to down. Go to first second, press P, create new passing Q frame, and let's move to down like this. Go to here and move to up. And go to last shoe frame. Select first shoe frame, copy pass, and make two frames easy. Let's see. Nice. And copy two frames. Again, let's go to here, paste two frames. Nice. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video, leave comments and have a good day. Good luck.